begin tonight with a warning from the state's health department. They say recent flooding brought with it mosquitoes and that those mosquitoes could be carrying diseases. And this means the West Nile virus could be a big problem in the coming months. But not just for us, animals too. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live in Shawnee County and has been looking into this all day. Dan, what have you learned? Brooke, Jace, the recent weeks of rain has left standing water all over the state, causing an extreme amount of mosquitoes. Now, these bugs are not just annoying, they can also cause illnesses to you and your animals. This is Ben Marple. And you're real busy, he lives on a farm and is doing everything he can to get rid of the mosquitoes on his property. The fields are flooded. He's facing more challenges this year than before with all the rain. I know that this year with all the rainfall and we've got water sitting everywhere, that the mosquitoes could be a real problem. The state health department is concerned as well, saying there's a moderate risk for West Nile in Kansas this year. Not only is this an issue for us, but for animals too, adding another challenge for Marple. Even if the mosquitoes don't carry West Nile, the pesky bug can still be harmful to the animal. Uh, first of all, it's irritating just like to us, and they don't gain as well, and especially uh, farm animals that are for market. Since Marple can't dump all of his standing water, he has to come up with different ways to protect his cattle. Things like bug repellent tags, as well as a dart gun that shoots paintballs full of bug repellent. We, we've got to make sure our cattle are up in good health right now to make it good gain this summer. Now, it's not just farm animals that need protection. Your dogs, cats, and other pets need it as well as yourself. The K-State Extension Office says to make sure you're wearing long sleeves and long pants if you plan to be outside. Live in Shawnee County, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, Dan, thank you. And the state says, though, the good news is no human cases of West Nile have been reported so far. And you can